So we ran this car for about five minutes. It's a big turbo Evo 395 system and it's warm, everything's warm. And uh, I'm getting ready to do the valve cover install. And this is what you're gonna see pretty quick. So there's some water droplets there. If we were to let this continue to run, that's just actual water. You can see the water difference in the oil. It's a water blob there, water, lots of water. So what you get, there's water dripping down. You end up, uh, it gets milky. So we're encouraging you to run your car with your ethanol tune and then pop your valve cover off. That's water. So it hasn't had time to actually like turn milky. But we see it all the time. So we're kind of challenging people to start doing this because we do it all the time. And uh, we're always diagnosing or trying to figure out a noise, but that's milky. Let's walk it over here to the bench. So that's milky oil mixed with water because like the cam sprockets and chain are spinning over here so there's a lot more like aeration going on and like physical combining of the oil and water blend but that's it's five minutes of running and uh we have sort of jerry modified rig this too where it's been venting differently that this is like some super early test stuff, but you can see the water in there. And then after a couple more minutes, depending on the health of the motor, this is a brand new engine. This engine's never been run, like driven. I think we dynoed it, but we haven't like doomed the car, like anything. So this is, uh, this gets worse the longer the car runs. And then we'll show this off in other areas where you gotta have milky oil. In situations where you're uh, just constantly seeing just wet, like water on the cam lobes and things. These all look super crispy. You'll see water down here and all these little uh, areas. You'll see just milky oil. So get in there and look. Let's get you guys looking.